Hi everyone, Stefan Harvey here, Iron Direct Primary Care. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to inject subcutaneously with peptides. We're going to be doing the two peptide method here. And so what we're going to be needing is a couple supplies. The first one we'll need is a tuberculin syringe. You can get these on Amazon as e in either the... This is a, an ML increments. You can get them in unit increments. You can find a unit to ML conversions online to understand the difference. Um, the next thing we have is that we have our alcohol swab here, and we have two of these vials here that we're going to clean off the rubber stoppers. I'm going to save this alcohol swab. I'm going to use it in a bit. I have here a 20 gauge needle. Now, I'm not going to inject myself with a 20 gauge needle. It's like a harpoon. I'm going to apply this like so, just simple like a Lego piece, you kind of stick it on. What I'm going to use this for is drawing up the medicine. So I want to draw 0 0.25 of BPC-157. I'm using this as a protocol to help heal my biceps tendon, which is strained. So I'm drawing up 0 0.25. It's not rocket science. Maybe it did a little bit less. Oh, there we go. I'm gonna pull it back. I'm gonna push it up until I can see the level. So I did a little bit more than I wanted to, but that's okay. I'm making sure there's no liquid in the syringe because um, I don't wanna transfer it to my next vial, which is CJC Ipamorelin. This is uh, two milligrams per ml, so I'm much more careful with this one. Uh, I don't wanna do too much of that. There's no add benefit to doing more CJC ipamorelin. Uh, it saturates the pituitary. So we're just going to be drawing up 0 0.15 ml. So most of it is in actually the needle here. So again, I'm going to pull it back, making sure nothing is in the needle. Um, I'm going to recap this needle. Don't need this anymore. I'm going to switch it out with an insulin needle. So this is 30 gauge insulin needle. Very fine, you can even find finer ones. Uh, you can get 31 gauge, I think that's as small as it goes. Now the reason I switched out the needles is because if you go through two rubber stoppers with this 30 gauge, it'll blunt it each time. So by the time you get to injecting yourself as we're about to do, it's gonna be blunt, it's gonna be more painful. So I have here a needle that's not blunted, so I'm pushing the medicine up into the top of the syringe. I see a bubble, I wasted a bit there. That's not perfect skill, that's okay. I'm gonna expose my belly here. So I'm doing a, a subcutaneous injection. So it goes into the belly fat. I'm just gonna clean off to the right of my belly button. I let that air dry a moment. The reason it stings on most people is because they inject through the alcohol and you inject a little bit of alcohol and alcohol stings, obviously. If you ever put alcohol on an an open wound, it stinks. So that's dried by now, and so what we're gonna do is, I'm a little bit lean, so I want this to go into the fat, so I'm just gonna pinch a little bit there, and I'm just gonna puncture right through the skin. Painless, and I'm gonna inject slowly. No need to draw back, it's a very fine insulin needle. Um, I'm not injecting into the muscle. Not a huge deal if you inject into the muscle, though. CJC ipamorelin particularly is best into the fat. That's it. Not even bleeding. It's such a fine needle and it's not blunted. And that's it. I'm going to recap my needles. And you can dispose of these in any empty, like, Publix uh, gallon container of water. I just throw those in there, fill it up. When it's done, you just dispose of that in the trash, regular trash. Uh, really nothing to it. Uh, one use only, obviously, this goes in the trash. Put your peptides back in the fridge, and you are good to go.